And we are delighted to have the England and Manchester City captain mm -hmm. Steph Horton as our special guest on Monday Night Thank Football you. tonight. Let's let's start with the the WSL Steph on this. Um, it's what ten years now in the making. H how have you seen its development from its early days? It's uh, been unbelievable, to be honest. I think obviously been fortunate enough to have been there from the beginning and still in it now. And I think ultimately the overall aim was to make it the best league in the world in Europe and the thought of it being so close now it actually it's it's a real proud moment to be there and to know how much we've really worked to to ultimately make it the, one of the best leagues in the world we've attracted a lot more players in terms of not just English players to stay in the league but also players from abroad and the best in best in the world to come and play so it makes every game more competitive so yeah I think it's quite frightening how well we've progressed and how competitive the league is in comparison to 10 years ago. So you've seen that quality grow season upon season? Yeah, I think probably in the first few years you could probably predict that the likes of Arsenal, Chelsea uh, were always going to be at the top of the league and they were going to win certain games. Now the games are becoming less predictable, which shows that the competitiveness is there. The squads are getting stronger throughout the league and there's not so much of a, a gap between the top clubs and the bottom clubs. Interesting, I, I suppose, when, when you first started out in some of the early years of the, of the Women's Super League here, some of our best players were, were still heading elsewhere to play their football. Is it the case now that they will be able to feel that they can stay here and, and still get the best out of their careers? Yeah, ultimately that was the aim, to try and keep the best English players within this league and play in England week in, week out. The likes of... Kelly Smith, Alex Scott, they went over to America to play in the WSL over there and um, it was the right decision for them in the career. They were playing full-time, they were professional. Um, I think that in training environment where you're going to train every single day rather than training twice a week, that's a, that's a big decision for a footballer that's wanting to play for England. So now girls have got the opportunity to be in this country, to train full-time professionally and yeah, the, the league makes you a better player because it's becoming more competitive. And do you think a bit more exposure can give it a, a little bit of an extra push? <laughs> I don't know where you're going with this one. No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, of course, I think for us as players and obviously the way that the league has development, we needed something to give it that push in the right direction. Obviously, the new WSL broadcast deal with Sky Sports is fantastic for the game. I think it really pushes us towards where we want to be. We want it to be... Um, have a regular spot in terms of each game every week. At the moment, it's probably a little bit too con inconsistent for fans to watch and um, to actually be analysed properly. I think that's what I'm striving for as a player is not just to, for people just to look at results, it's actually what happens in the game, what we could have done better, what we've done well in terms of actually looking at us as footballers, not just because of the team that I play for or the team that the other girls play for. We want to be judged on our football ability, whether that's good or bad.